When you think of smoke ventilation systems, you probably think of mechanical units or AOVs or certain types of vents. But did you know that doors play a fundamental part in a smoke control system? In fact, they're so important that the SCA guide has 134 references to them, and approved document B has a further 294. Well, today's video is all about looking into what a certain type of door does in a smoke control system. Let's roll the intro. The door that we're focusing on today is the door from the protected corridor into the stair core. Now if you live in an apartment, that's the door that you take from the corridor into the stairs every day, unless of course you use the lift. The reason that a door is a fundamental part of a smoke control system is that it's a gateway between a protected lobby and a protected stair core. In a typical pressure differential system, smoke is extracted by a damper in the corridor. Makeup air is drawn via a head of stair vent down through the stairs and into the corridor via the door. If your makeup air is coming from the stairs, it can only come via the door. It can't come via a damper or a vent from the corridor into the stair core. There's a number of reasons for that, but they're too complex to explain right now. I've got a short video to show you now to help you understand everything that I've just gone through, so watch closely. We can see first of all that the smoke is beginning to build. What will happen next is the mechanical system will start up and you can see the smoke beginning to be extracted by the damper on the left hand side. What you can see on the right hand side is the door is beginning to pull open. This is because the makeup air is coming from the head of stair vent and fresh air is coming down the stair core and being drawn into this protected corridor. We can see that the smoke is clearing quickly and there's no pressure build up across the doors of the apartments. What you'll have seen in the video that I've just shown you and what we're going to cover today is what's known as a reverse swing door. A reverse swing door is a part of a mechanical system that opens into the corridor rather than into the stair core, which is the direction of travel. So why would you have a reverse swing door? By having the door opening into the corridor, air can be drawn down the stair core and into the corridor and this serves two purposes. Firstly, it keeps the stair core free of smoke as it's drawing fresh air down the stairs. Secondly, it ensures there's not too much depressurization in the corridor. Now this is really important with a mechanical system because you have to ensure that apartment doors can be open with no greater force than 100 newtons at the door handle. The reason this is important is because otherwise you can essentially lock people in their flats with no way to escape. It also means that the system can be run at just one speed. Rather than having firefighting mode and means of escape mode, the system can just be run at maximum speed. This saves firefighters having to change any of the settings when they come to the scene of the fire. You may be wondering what the alternatives are to a reverse swing door system. So as an alternative, you can hang the doors to open in the direction of travel, but you must fit pressure sensors to ensure that there's not a depressurization in the corridor that will prevent people opening their doors. If the stair door is open because, for instance, somebody escaped through it, then the system will run at full speed. However, when the stair door closes, the system will have to fall back to a setback mode. This reduces the fan speed to ensure that the apartment doors can still be opened. Makeup air in this mode comes from air leakage around apartment doors and through lift cores, for example. The system must react within three seconds to a change of pressure, such as a door opening or closing. This alternative method is significantly less suitable for the following reasons. Firstly, a smoke control system is much less effective when it's running in setback mode. Secondly, it's also much less effective at clearing the stair core. And the reason for this is it's not drawing fresh air down the stairs. In this scenario, any smoke that comes into the stair core is very likely to stay there until the stair door is opened again. Finally, there's a risk of a pressure sensor failing, and if that happened, you'd end up locking people in their apartments with no way of escape. Your next question may be, well, why don't we use reverse swing doors everywhere then? And the answer to that question is found in approved document B, section 3.94. The door of any doorway or exit should be hung to open in the direction of escape wherever reasonably practicable. It should always be hung to open in the direction of escape if more than 60 people might be expected to use it during a fire. That section of approved document B may dissuade some people from using a reverse swing door. However, as we've just read, if there are less than 60 people likely to use that door, which is usually the case, then a reverse swing door can be used. In our ethos, the benefit of having a reverse swing door, meaning greater performance of the smoke control system, far outweighs the inconvenience of having to open the door towards you. There is one alternative that we consider, and that's what's known as a floppy door or a double action door. The door can open in both directions, 
That means that people can escape in the direction of travel, but the smoke control system can draw the door inwards as required. That might be considered a win-win situation, however it is worth considering that these doors are more expensive and that sometimes puts people off. I'm hoping now that you understand why the stair door is such a key part of a smoke control system and how having a reverse swing or double action door is a great benefit to a smoke control system and therefore to life safety. There are a few other points in relation to doors that it's important to note. Firstly, full height doors can pose a particular challenge to smoke control due to no allowance for smoke logging. I've included more details on that below. Secondly, the proximity of the apartment door to the stair door makes a significant difference to the smoke control system. Third, for CFD modelling, our recommended approach is to model the firefighting phase with the stair door fully open. Finally, it's important to note that the maintenance of the stair door is a key part of the maintenance of the smoke ventilation system. I hope you've enjoyed this week's session and I hope you found it helpful to understand what part the stair door plays in a smoke control system. I really appreciate the feedback you guys have been giving me, so thank you very much. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week in the next video. Thanks and bye for now.